Meet the robot snake. This mechanical creepy crawler can make its way through battlefields, caves, tunnels and buildings and record real-time videos. The robot snake is one of the highlights of Ben Gurion University's famous robotics lab. The robots arrived, together with Dr. Amir Shapiro, straight from the BGU campus in Beersheba to Great Neck, New York, and JTA was there to take a look. These robots are planned to carry the IDF and other militaries to the high-tech battlefield of the 21st century. There are robots that can fly, balance themselves on two wheels, and even a bowl. That's the remote-controlled magnetic wall climber. It has a video camera and can get into metal structures to collect useful information. Wall climbing robots play a vital role in gathering information from what's going on inside houses where there might be hostages or terrorists. So when can we actually see them in action? All of these are just prototypes, just under development yet. Nothing has been commercialized yet. We think it's important for Israel to have its own technolo technological source in-house, in, in the country. And from all the people who showed up to see the robots, the most excitement came from the kids. Even though they didn't have it here, um, the hovercraft thing, because it's cool that it can just like float in the air and snake. Because it, it actually looked like a snake. I like the uh, metal one, the magnetic ball climber, because it made clinking noise when it moved up and down. And Shapiro, the father of the robots, won't tell us his personal favorite. Well, it's like asking some, asking the father which of his sons he be, he, he prefer. No, all of them are are my favorite. So very soon, thanks for the people at BGU, we won't have to turn the shows like... Here we go, the black and black, the laser eyes, robot fighting time! ...to get some battle robot action. For JTA, I'm Uri Finzi.